think about that. Now we're going to be moving on to a different topic. We're going to talk about Kirsten Stewart's, Kristen Stewart's hair. Now, I just want to ask you as an audience member here, what do you think looks better? Which, which of these two? Right or the left? I think the long hair looks better. Now, I, I can hardly, I, I bet you there's not, there's very, very few guys that would find the short hair on Kirsten Stewart more attractive. Okay, so there's a weird thing going on. I see a lot, I see this happening a lot, where these celebrities are cutting their hair really short, and it's bizarre to me. It's like a, an episode of the Twilight Zone. Why are these girls cutting their hair so short? It's crazy. It's not attractive, obviously. So we're going to look at some more girls who cut their hair short, and I think that makes them look awful. And I bet you there's not a person. Like, tell me, if you're a guy or, you know, do you, do you, is there a guy out there who thinks that they look better with short hair? <laughs> I doubt that. Highly doubt that. But, um, you know, there's always exceptions to the rule. But also, I think, you know, long hair could have benefits that we don't even understand. Scientific benefits for your health and everything. We don't even know. So why would you cut basically an organ off your body? The hair, think of it like an organ. Why'd you just, well, let's just cut off my hair. For what? For vanity's sake? It doesn't make any sense. Um. Okay. Um, oh, look. Eternal Man says, Did you know that being in solitary confinement for a long time can make you go insane and uh, have permanent brain damage? Oh, wow. See? Loneliness, solitary confinement. Yeah. I think a lot of uh, like prisoners and stuff, I heard of stories where prisoners were put in solitary confinement and it was very awful. And then Haley Harrison says, being lonely is very depressing, too. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's very depressing. So, there's Natalie Portman with her short hair. I don't think it's a good look. All right, we got Charlize Theron with her short hair. Uh, basically, they're, they're just butchering a natural body part. It's like, okay, we have this long hair, it grows naturally long, but let's just butcher that. Let's just cut it off for whatever reason. It makes no sense to me. Um, I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, what if the hair has a purpose? What if the hair has a reason why it grows long and we should just keep it long? I don't know. It could be. Um, Miley Cyrus with her... A short hair. Basically, it makes them look more like boys. Let's be honest here. It's making a girl look more like a boy. It's basically, in a way, it's destroying their femininity. I think it's like, okay, why would I want to? If why would I want a girl that looks more like a boy? Does that make any sense? I mean, unless that just doesn't make sense. <sighs> Okay, Scarlett Johansson. Um, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. So what's with this trend? Now, here's an example of where the hair can be short. Okay, this is Carrie Mulligan, a famous actress. The hair can be short, but it's just long enough where it's, like, acceptable. This is an acceptable length. I mean, it's just still... It's, it's workable, you know? I think it'd be better if it was longer, but it's not, like, the left. See the hair on the left here, it's just, it's just not good. But on the right here, it's like, okay, it's acceptable. Just long enough to maybe look okay. Um, and now let's talk about Tinkerbell's hair. Some people might wrongly think that Tinkerbell had short hair, but she doesn't. Her, she just puts her hair up in a bun. So Tinkerbell has long hair. Um, you can see there the bun. Yeah, there we go, the bun here. She has, clearly has long hair. There it is. That's what Tinkerbell's hair looks like when it's down. So she's got long hair. 